Welcome back to Grey Squadron Gaming, where we have another exciting episode in our Star Wars Legion Battle Report series, episode 46? 7. 47? Yeah. Episode I can count. Episode number more than 45. Yeah, it's 47. It's gonna work. It's gonna work. 47, Return to Genosis is the theme of this. The other theme of this is Patreon lists. Both these were submitted by Patreons. Um, so before I get too far in there, my list was Mitchum. Mitchum Ernst, yeah, you submitted your list. And my list consists of Yoda with Force Reflexes, Force Push, Barry, Burst of Speed, Vigilance, Padme with also Vigilance, and a loaded E5 Blaster. One Phase 1 has the DC-15, the other two Phase 1s have nothing. A unit of Arc Strike Troopers with a DC-15. Three Bark Spears. This here, my friends, is not an ETRT. It looks like one, but the hollow projector that's actually... A, emulating what it's supposed to be it broke so it's actually a bark spear just for all intents and purposes remember there are three bark spears no atrts in this list and they're all three naked they have no gun or anything like that and then r2d2 and c3po this list was 798 points and i will play it to the best of my ability this is going to be a more offensive version of yoda usually i do a very defensive version of yoda with with force barrier sitting in the back sharing tokens not fighting until maybe that one round he needs about there and whack something on the head, you know? So my negative play experience Yoda is not here. I'm so disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yes, yeah, so this is this will be a fun one. Uh, if you guys haven't already entered into our contest this month, we are giving away a J Square Design Studios. It is the token holder and the order holder. Um, I'll show you guys both here in a second, so pulling them from the camera. And also, to enter that, just comment below. Go find our Facebook or Instagram pages and comment on those as well. That will get you another entry. Uh, mention Morton Salt into the comments. That, that's <laughs> Donnie Boy's new nickname over here. That will get you an additional con additional entry to the, to the thing. Um, and we just wrapped up our X-Wing giveaways. The two big X-Wing ships were given away from the Gifted Games. Gifted Games, one of our awesome sponsors, are a local game store here that has everything a local game store would, including things like AMG products, Legion, X-Wing, Armada. Great prices, ship all over. Much more things. Check them out if you buy from them. Let them know. Hey, I heard about you from those great guys at Gray Squadron Gaming. They're pretty awesome like that. They're all right. <laughs> With that said, <laughs> let's go check out Don's list. All right, and as we were talking about our Patreons, let's uh, say our huge thank you to our Commander-level Patreons, Jason Nikrachek, Dan Dubak, Jamal Alwahadi, Mitchum Ernst, Alex Bingham, Brendan Bross, Michael Klein, Philip Darby, and Caleb Rogers. Uh, this is actually Caleb's submission list for the Separatists. Um, it is Maul with Saber Throw and Anger. Uh, he also brought his probe droids with him. And then a AAT tank with the T-Series droid as a field commander. And then high energy shells and armor piercing shells. Uh, I have a unit of staffs naked, a unit of droidicas naked, and then six units of the B1s. Two of them have an extra B1, and then one of the units with an extra B1 also has an HQ uplink. Uh, and it came in at 797 points, making me the blue player. So we'll go ahead and take a look at my cards. We'll get everything set up, and we'll come back and show you what we're doing. Here are Don's cards, since he is the blue player. Don, you get the first pass. What would you like to pass? Or get, flip, I should say. We're going to flip the Sabotage of the Moisture Evaporators. Okay, it is flipped. Let me give it a roll out. I mean, you don't feel like a little Transformers? I know you just bought the Lego. You should feel rolling out. I know. <laughs> um, I think I'm going to pass. I think I'm satisfied with kind of what we're going to end up with here. Normally, I'd auto-flip this because I'm clones, but I only have three core units of clones that have a courage of one. Everything else is either a vehicle or Padme or Yoda, so I don't really care about that too much. So I want battle lines. Okay, so... So battle lines, payload, war weary. We'll go set it up, show you the map, show you the deployment zone, get started, have some fun. Maybe we'll show you what we're giving away too, but we'll see what happens. Yeah, I didn't bring it again, so we'll show you that point. <laughs> Welcome to round one, where he went with Orbital Strike. Um, once during the round, at the end of the activation of a friendly commanding droid trooper unit or a friendly field commander, it can perform this attack here at the end of its activation. I did um, divulge this card. I gained Secret Mission, and Padme also gained Infiltrate, and she gained a Dodge Token. And this card was selected during round one. He also infiltrated his. Which Maul gains Infiltrate, and each friendly chill droid unit must also or cannot perform objective card actions. Discard this card after it was revealed. It's gone. Bye bye. I infiltrated Padme into his deployment zone. It was the very last thing placed on my side. All his stuff's over there. So she's a uh, beyond range three. 
which is fully legal, so her first action probably going to be some a free claim the secret mission objective, maybe. That seems like a solid choice. Arctic and CPU are definitely not over here going that way for any other reason either. Probably not. Probably not. Yoda's over here standing tall in front of all this army, because that's what Yoda does. There's some clones back here to push a cart. We got some clones here. Remember, this is a bark speeder. Yoda's known three because I don't really like the unit very much. I know, I know, I know, but I don't. So he's a bark speeder. Maul deployed in here, or infiltrated. His little droids came up here as well. He is incognito, the droids are. We got the T-Series tech inside the heavy there. We got a whole bunch of B1s, some droid decas, and over here, I almost forgot, we have the Staps swooping in. His two pip goes first. Also, before I forget for, you know, a fifth time, this is what's given away right now. Here's the whole carbon tokens, not the acrylic ones, but managed to the top and bottom. It's over at J Square Design Studios. They're an awesome partner of ours. They sell a whole bunch of different things. The dashboard you just saw me show the missions on, that's also them. Also magnets, and if you lift up everything in there, it tells you what is a symbol of what goes in there. So core or, you know, operative, etc. So one lucky winner will get both these things. It's a nice little starter pack here. Also on our store, not giving away, but on the J Square Design, they also make these template holders, which have easy outs when it comes to the silhouettes. Check them out. Let's get started. Let's have some fun, Don. All right, so we'll go with our red, white, and blue ones here. They are the ones with the HQ uplink, which they popped to pass out all of these B1 orders here. Uh, we'll go ahead and recover for the first action to get the HQ uplink popped back in there. And then they're just going to move all the way up here. We'll reco here, and that will be the end of their activation. It's a lot of droids, guys. It's a lot of droids for this. Uh, I, don't, I don't have a lot to counter them. You're just going to really have to shine here. Bright like a diamond. Shine bright like a diamond. <laughs> Keep going, Don. Nope. Going to my stack. We've got Mr. Yoda right off the bat here. Okay. He's going to guidance the 212 clones right there just to take a dodge. So they're a little a little more covered before he runs off. Mm -hmm. He's a speed one, Joe, not a speed two. I'm trying to cheat. Yeah, easy there, buddy. Easy. He's got his little canine. He's a little slower now. So he's still going to move where I want to move. He's going to move right behind this little rock like so. And then he will tap force reflexes for a free dodge and then bring that back and master the force. And he's going to have a nice day. Sounds good. All right. We're going to go with the Terminator droids over here. Uh, they saw some... Droids over there that looked a little suspicious, so they're going to start marching this way in order to see what's going on. These are not the droids you're looking for. They may or may not be the droids that I'm looking for, so we'll march them on over and that'll be them. Go to my stack. We've got the Arc Trooper Strike Team over here. We've got the Shadow Troopers. He's just going to do a slight move up, like so, and then we're going to go ahead and shoot. Or we can aim with, tactical. with tactical one, which gives us aim when we move. We see Maul there, half of his body-ish, maybe a quarter of his body, sticking out behind heavy cover. So we'll take a shot, bring that down to light cover, and see if we can hurt him. All right, let's go to the box. Okay, they are red-black for their DC-15. It is lethal, which won't matter because Maul's immune pierce. And crit one was taken care of back in November. They got rid of that keyword, so we just got name. They were just too strong, man. A little too just strong on the phone, that's okay. We'll come back to them before. Red and black, here we go. Well, you know, it is light. It is heavy on a light. That's one getting through us. I think we don't risk rolling. We just let you try to... Block one? Yeah. I block it. There Just a suppression from all. All right, we're gonna go ahead and go with these silver B ones back here. They are gonna go ahead and double move up, and just end up over here by Mall. Just waiting to hear what he would like them to do. Check another awesome Mall. Wait a second, we got a core. Let's take our non-colored shinies. We're gonna move them up just ever so slightly. Even the shinies, we have a history. Just to get a nice little shot on to those B ones who are trying to hurt our droid friends over there. All right, just four black dice, no aim or anything. All right, let's go to the box. No heavy on this unit, just four black dice, no aim, no surges, no nothing. He's got no cover, though, either, so any hits we get, he has to roll four. We get one. <laughs> All right, that's one dead B1, but that's the unit that had the extra, so that's just the spare that we brought with us. All right, we're going to go with our blue guys here. We're going to remember that this is a silver guy, and he goes over here with these guys. And then we're going to hey, move these got blue lost guys. There. We're going to move them up here a little bit. Make sure we don't get into our little no man's land that I have to make sure that that cart can move into. And we will just recohere these guys back here. I found the droids you were looking for. They're here. Okay, so we got speed one. Da, na, 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 na. He's trying to decide if he wants to go into the no man's land because there are some B1s there. some B1s there. Next there. Round. They'll, be, they'll be there. They'll be there. They'll be ready. Yeah, you know. I don't really, I'm not too, too scared. So let's just start. Let's just keep going. You should be scared. We're just going to keep going. Do, 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 do. No, you know what? Let's keep, let's go maximum distance. So far. Alrighty. All right, can I go ahead and go with the green unit of ones over here? They saw their blue friends do a move up and dodge, and they thought to themselves, I like the sound of that. So they're going to move up and dodge. 
Mm. It's classic B1 maneuver. Okay. I'll let you do that. We got my other other core here. And I think I've lied to Don. I think I'm going to change my tactic here. You monkey. I know. I do that a lot to you. I think what we're going to do is actually we're going to pop up just in front of his buddies here. Just to here. Okay. And we'll recoil here. And then we're going to shoot those B1s with my second action. How dare you, sir? I know. It seems like a good plan, though. How dare you? Here, and then we'll uh, take a shot. My poor B1s. Okay, four black dice. Again, no aims, no surges. His B1s are out in the open. Let's hope for more than one hit this time. Nope. Just one. Just the one. At this rate, I'll kill a unit in like B1. six rounds. All right, so we'll go ahead and go with the purple B1s. They're going to keep going with the move and dodge, so we'll just move up into the stack here. And it's we'll a take a dodge. big scrum of B1s. Man, is there a Fluttercraft or a Reckless Driver anywhere I can borrow those? Yeah, that would be real nice for you right now. Yeah, that'd be fun. Juicy. By the way, there's a couple Patreons you've asked for like a triple Fluttercraft list or a double Fluttercraft list. I have one, so I'm using the Patreon funds to buy a second one at least, so get that other list. But the third one might be a while until I find someone to borrow one from. Yeah, we do have a huge Mike number just of got people. Some. Yes, Mike, growing, far, uh, if you're Legion. watching, I need to borrow your Fluttercraft, so please build and paint it soon. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Where are my stack? We've got a support finally. That's Mr. Arc, Arc Speeder number one. This is the 501st. Since they don't have a sidecar buddy, even though it looks like he does, but he really doesn't. It's a holographic sidecar. He's going to move up to here. Just like to so. inspire fear in my droids. That's his compulse action. Take a look and see what our options are here. We do have those blue or green droids there. Either one we got. And these guys are incognito, so I can't shoot them. That is correct. I can't tell if I can see them all. Do I range them all is the question. Uh, I mean, from there, technically you do. I'll check line and say, I'm going to aim. If I have them all, I'll shoot them all. If not, I'll shoot a B1. All right. Mark Spears main gun is a rainbow. Red, white, and... Black. Black, not blue. I want to say blue. It just bred it into me. Um, in green. I don't green. know. And he has Arsenal. Is, that's a different thing. That's a whole different that's thing. Whole we won't talk about that. Here. There. Um, he has Arsenal too, so he gets to add on his buddies, the driver's uh, DC yeah. gun. He's, so it's he's pulling black. the trigger with one hand, <laughs> holding his <laughs> other hand out the side of the car with the gun it's, sideways. It's, it's, I believe the kids call that gangster style. Gangster style. Yeah, we're pretty, All right. Pretty hip here. So it's two black, a red, a white, and handy cover. Surge to hit with an aim token. Let's do it. That's not a bad start. I'll spend this to re roll that white. That crit looked pretty cocked to me. I'm keeping it. Okay, so takeaway two, so you're so looking at the one crit. Yeah, you're fine. Mall's all right. All right, I'm going to go ahead and go with the tank here. The big boy. The biggie. Big boomer. And he is going to go ahead. Who wants Gungans, guys? Comment in the comment section if you want some Gungans. I want to throw some. Who wants Gungans? I want to throw some big boombas. I, I want to, you know, ride on the back of one of those creatures, which I can't think of the name of. I, I want to poke things with, like, a Gungan stick and have Gungan shields. I just want to do all the Gungan stuff. All right, so we'll move him up here. Hopefully that's the last move we have to do with the T-Series. And then what we will do, so do I have, I can shoot a bark speeder, or I can shoot... They do have cover from bones. this. Remember, this does give cover. They do have cover. This, this little thingy here, the bomb Bark cover. speeder will have light cover. This will have light cover. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, let's start working on the clones. So we'll shoot the clones, and then at the end of the activation, we will also do the bombardment onto... Probably the same clones, but we'll go okay. to the box and see what happens. All right, so we're using the high energy in velocity shells or whatever they're called. So it's going to be six reds, one white, into the light clever. Um, they're lightly clever. Lightly clever, light covered clones. You can say it. Come on. Yep. And let's see what we got. Oh, just, Oof. just you don't surge, do you? Uh, no, I do not surge. Ah! So cover will be one of those two. You're looking at five. Just five with a, a dodge you can't spend because everything five in yours is high velocity. Yeah, with high velocity you can't spend. And we don't have no surges. We need lots of blocks here. This guy's gone. Oh! Holy cow! Only one dead? I mean, I'm not complaining about that. I forgot that I should never shoot into your clones. I the, should just not shoot into your clones. You tend to do well. Okay, so you get another shot um, with your orbital strike now. Do I want to shoot into those guys? Because that was pretty worthless. You killed one. There's only three left in that unit. Yeah, but now you have two dodges you can spend on. I have a dodge. I thought one had a dodge. You moved up and shot. I moved up and shot. Based on the dodge from guidance. It's up but to you, it's though. heavy cover. It is heavy. Oh, we'll do it. Why not? So, okay, the, so heavy cover now with dodge. Yep. So it's two reds, two blacks, suppressive now. Um, and you're just looking at two suppression from that. Well, that's not great, because I'm pretty sure Yoda's beyond range one. They might panic. Go to my stack. It's my last core trooper. It's the five of first guys with the uh, DC. All right, back here. He's going to move out about as far as he can to about here. And we'll kind of Rico here, everyone, like so. He wants to shoot Maul, and I can think he can just barely see a corner of his base, Even if I can't, my guys can see him, so. All right. We're only shooting with the DC-15 because I believe we're beyond range three. Yes, we are, so just the DC-15. All right, let's go to the box. Two reds, critical one, no aiming or surging besides the critical in the heavy cover Maul. One crit. That's possible. all you need, I guess. 
Got one through, finally. All right, that's a wound on my own, another sprite. Right, so I'm going to go ahead and go with my stack, which is going to be a support. We're going to go with the Droidicas. They're going to ball mode, and unfortunately, I forgot my actual ball models at home, so they're just going to... He means the Droidicas in the ball mode, wheel mode, right. not balls. Wheel mode, ball mode, all the same. Is it? It is. And then we're just going to move up to the edge here, and we'll end our turn right there. Currently, they have no shields, but... Man, it's very close. Hey. For my stack, we got a bark speeder. Remember, this is a bark speeder, so we're going to go. Bark with, speeder ATRT. It's just a really fast running. It, it really wanted to, it, it grew up wanting to be a bark speeder. I mean, if you watch the Clone Wars, the ATRTs do run. They do actually run pretty fast. Yeah, it's kind of cool. But this is definitely not an ATRT, it's a bark speeder. So we're going to come like this. I'm going to trim this just slightly like so to keep you in my front arc. Are you in mm -hmm. front arc? Yes, you are. Okay, so first action compulse, or that was compulse. Then first action move, second action will be to shoot. Um, you have shields, and you how much do you regen at the end of the round? They do not have shields. They're in ball mode, so they just have heavy cover. So if I hit them, damage goes through? If you hit them, I have to roll for damage, because they just have heavy cover currently. Versus the droids who have no cover. Versus the droids who would have light cover from you shooting through the droidicus. So light versus heavy, but more impacting. I'm going to shoot the droidicus. Sounds good. Upon further evaluation, I think I'm going to shoot the B1s, because the droidicus also surge... And heavy cover, it's harder to kill than a light cover B1 who doesn't surge. Thank God you got rid of that accent at the you end of that. You didn't like my was, accent, did you, my awful. friend? My good boy -o. Okay, know, so it's that was... red, white, and black, with a black for my gunner, because it's arsenal, or for my driver. All right. All the other, surging and hit, no aim, shooting the light cover B1, so I'm shooting through the droidicas in wheel mode. So we're getting three through, which becomes two. All right. Or, yeah, two. Two. Because you have light cover. And that's two more dead B1s. I want to stack attack here. It's going to be our operative, Mr. Maul. He does have three suppression on him, so let's see if he's going to take one of those off. He will drop it down to two, which does boost him now to three actions. Because he has a wound. He has a wound, which triggers his mastery. And so what we're going to do is... Shouldn't you, not to help you, but shouldn't you gain an aim token for taking a wound with anger? I do have an aim token with anger. You don't like you to remember correct. your, like, five cards you have over well, there? Well, I don't... I never Actually, run he got, he got, anger. He has four cards, five, six cards. Yes. What is that? You're going to be up here. Yeah, so you'd have to at least move twice. So what we're going to do... What we're going to do? Is we're going to take a dodge with Maul. Taking a dodge, I love just it. Just in case we get shot at. Okay. Then we're going to move... Move, yep. Our speed to... Into the ship. Right over here, through the ship. Dun -dun. And then we will saber throw into our Yoda friend. Dun -dun. And that will be it. So dodge, move, throw, saber. Got it. Let's go do it. All right, so Maul's saber throw is going to be four reds. I do have an aim token, and I surge to crit because of Jedi Hunter. He does not have any cover for this shot. He just has his dodge. And we will give you... We'll dodge the one hit away. We'll give you the three crit. Well, I'll, I'll aim. Why not? Sure. We'll aim and see if we can't get another crit out of this. No. You cannot, so you dodge that away. Okay. Looking for paint. We 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 natively. You surge or you defend. Well, but natively. now I get deflect on you. You do. Oof! Two wounds. I like it. Why do you never defense as good once he gets in the action? <laughs> okay, Pammy's over here. She gets her free action to claim that secret mission. Boom! She got it. She downloaded some illegal intel from this ship here. Why would you park your ship over there with illegal intel? Who do we have to talk to in management about this? No one will know. Move there for the first action. Second action is just going to move here. Like, hmm, does she want to come support her army? Maybe a little bit. We'll move here for the next action. Okay, just, just like that. That's Padme. All right. Going to the stack. Hopefully we get those droids to get some observation tokens out before my last unit goes. Oh, wait, no. All right, so we'll go with the stabs here. That Oscar-worthy performance of him not knowing what that stack was. Right? That's what something else. Were you guys... Happened. Were you guys just waiting with bated breath to see? So we will just kind of end up right here. Oops. And we get two dodges for that with our Agile, and then we will take our shot into our little uh, sniper team over here. Sniper we'll team. Dice box. So it's over B1s. I have the high ground. Doesn't feel as good coming from a non-Jedi. All right, so we got six black, critical two into the heavy cover arcs. So this will crit out. Cover will take that. So you're looking at two. Need native blocks here. We're fine. Shh. See if it's not native Yoda. It, clones are fine. My Jedi's for some reason are just like, oh, we don't know what the blocks for the surge symbol looks like. Last one is my last spark speeder, 212th spark speeder. Then you can pulse. And when you can pulse, 
you can only displace if you land on them with a, with a spear like so. So we're going to move to there for my first action. Okay. We're going to do this live on the camera here and figure out what I want to do. What I kill doing? a droid. What, what? Ah. They haven't even activated and you're breaking them? I could it's shoot. like you thought you painted them or something. I could shoot These them. fine droids were painted by Joe. I could shoot Maul. And that sweet Maul. I did make it so it would be harder to shoot Maul because you de you definitely need to... No, he's here still in arc. Oh, he's still in arc? arc goes I thought it was three. Oh, I did measure that incorrectly because I had to move in just a little bit. So. Yep. Um, I don't know if it's worth it, though, guys. He's going to have... Have you cover dodge, Maul? Have you cover and dodge, Maul? I don't really want to get the flak back. Um, I don't know what to do with this bar speeder at this point. Maybe just take a dodge. You know what we're going to do? You're going to break my incognito and try We're going to shoot, shoot the little droids. Yes. Awesome. All right, let's go to the box. Bark Speaker coming up to, see, to you know, Kamikaze with the droid army and realizes, wait a minute, those hovering droids with the droid army aren't friendly? We should probably shoot them. Incognito is broken, taking a shot. One red, one white, one black, plus another black Myra Snow. Surge to hit. No aim. Two get through. All right, so we got two white defense dice surging. Two defend on these beautiful guys. Two wounds. All right. All right. Well, last in my stack is the garbage droids that he just shot. So I have one droid left with a suppression. They get. Are they special they, forces? They are special forces. Yeah. So they get uh, one whole action here. There's one left. I guess for the fun of it, we'll just shoot the bark speeder back. Aren't they a droid? Why do they only get one action? They aren't. They're not. So we'll aim and shoot the bark speeder back. There you go. I'm trying to help you, buddy. I know. All right, so these roll two whites a piece with surge to hit and an aim into and light cover. Cover one. Yep, the light cover. Uh, we will re-roll this one. And you're looking at one after cover, buddy. They're angry droids. So I killed their buddies. Well, hey, it's, one it's on a clone trooper. <laughs> and never had one. Padme Amidala has her secret mission. The droids are on the way to go find theirs. These droids were trying to intercept them, but we cut them off with a bark speeder, not an ATRT, and a couple units of phase ones. Um, what else happened? Oh, Yoda took two wounds super early from a saber throw from him because I can't roll paint on Jedi's, but you know, that's okay because my clones survived fine. Um, nothing else really happened. Oh, I killed two little guys. There's yeah, one two left. Two of my. He was mad droids. and hit me for one back, so that's something. That's something. We're going to move a bomb carts and go to round two. Round two, he went with at last. Maul, when building a command hand, you treat this as a one pip, or as a three pip, excuse me. Maul gains one aim token and Jedi Hunter. Did you did you not have Jedi in the first round? Did you cheat? Oh, I thought he always had Jedi Hunter. Oh, Don's yeah. over here cheating. I did cheat. Yep. When he activates, he may suffer one wound. There is no try. When Yoda issues an order to a trooper, it gains outmaneuver, relentless, and one dodge token. Nothing was in my discard pile to bring him back. So I gave my order to Yoda to give him a dodge, because my one pip does not give me a dodge, so I didn't want to lose that one pit battle there. That's one reason. And I have burst of speed, so I don't care. I also gave it to my full unit of phase ones with the DC-15. So they have relentless outmaneuver and a dodge as well. He went with Maul and then did the droid train thing. Did it, did it, did it, did it all the way around. Very cool. <laughs> did it, did it, did it, all the way around. I like it. All right, I'm going to go ahead and go with Maul. He does have one suppression on him. We are going to hold on to it, but that's okay, because okay. he gets three actions either way. So he's going to do... Well, double move, make it. I... I don't, I don't know. I don't think it does. A move here. It's going to be close. Ooh, it's going to make it. Yeah, I think we... Oh, yeah. Oof, That's oof, fairly oof, clearly oof, making oof, it. Oof, oof, oof. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. So no, we will... It's pretty close, though. We will snug up to Yoda there, and we will swipe at him with our saber. Okay. You have to actually have to roll a thing called defense dice. Let's go see if you can do that. All right. So we've got four weds, four whites, in aim, Jedi Hunter, and... A Yoda. All right, so that converts with Jedi Hunter. Do we do we penalize him for a Jedi Hunter earlier? <laughs> Take away Jedi Hunter this round since he right since he uh, messed that up. All right. Dodge assume one. Sure. Five pack. Yeah, great. So if I blank three of these, he's dead. You did not blank any of them. We naturally surged, so we got that. We're fine there. Make up for that earlier poor round. Yoda's in no hurry now that he's already did his turn, so we're gonna go ahead and take these guys. They have outmaneuver and relentless because of Yoda's one pip. So they're gonna aim for their first action. Their second action is gonna be to kind of move over behind this uh, bunker for some cover from the rest of his army. We'll recohere these guys to take a nice shot onto those snaps with my relentless proccing now. 
and we'll we'll shoot him and see what happens. Well, let's go to the back. Okay, four black dice from the base troopers, two red from the DC-15 with crit one and an aim. Relentless procs we're shooting now. They have light cover because they're a speeder. True. Let's see what we can do. It's a good start. Well, we only have crit one. It's not a good start. Fades that crit there. Don't you have reliable on your snipers? No, that's not a sniper, buddy. Power two? No, that's only only echo. Only echo? Only echo. echo. Wow, they are garbage. Oh, good conversion, though. Yeah, that's real sound. So you got four coming through after the light cover takes away one. Light cover will take away one. I have no surging here, so we're just looking for shields. And we got one, so that's just going to be one whole dead bike. All right, going to my stack. The only thing I don't want is a core. It's a core. They're in panic range with no commander. Nope, nope, he gets both yeah. off. Oh, I got both off? Yes. How about that? You got both off. Man, those, the, are, those the, are the only shields I'm going to roll on these white dice, though. The one so that's time great. I get panicking with two suppression, he's like, no, no, not happening. All right, so they have AI attack, which will trigger now. So they will shoot into uh, our good friends over there. And then for their second action, um, I'm going to go ahead and take a dodge. Okay. Shoot into the RTD2 c 3 because right now we do not have a. Um, Suppression. A suppression, so inconspicuous isn't crooked, but it's only three white dice, so we should be fine. Yeah, I'm not worried. Oh, you shouldn't be worried. All right, so it's just three whites, no cover. That's not bad, though. I'll take two, it two. two is really good on white dice. I never roll hits with droids. It's always a crit or two. Oh, I surge on white defense dice, though. Oh, that so... is just, uh, just rude. I'm so sorry. Uh, you're not sorry at all. Right? I'm not. I like the droid. In my stack, we've got an operative. We're going to go with r 2 c 3 po With inconspicuous, I can leave that suppression, and I'm going to. So we're just going to go up here like so. I'm just going to start wheeling away before anyone else decides to try to shoot them. And we're going to go here with Mr. 3 po forward to get behind some cover here, like so. Alrighty. Alright, going to the stack here. It's going to be a support. We'll go with the droidicas over here. Uh, their AI move attack, so we will AI attack. We'll shoot into our orange phase one friends with the two suppression already. And then for their second action, they're going to take a dodge, so we'll just throw that on there now. Okay. And we'll go to the dice box. All right, so we've got four blacks and two reds because we have two uh, droidicas there. The clones have heavy cover from their suppression and me shooting through the... Um, Does the Bark Spear give cover? The Bark Spear doesn't give See, cover. See, we're both thinking it's an ATRT. Yeah, it's not. It's, an it's not. It's, it's, not. it's nope. just a light cover. So light cover will eat this one, and I do not surge, so you are looking at two. Two back. Oh, look, it's phase ones. Don't worry, dude. With Warrior, they're going to panic off the board in like two seconds. It'll be fine. That is true. Two suppression. It is a suppressive weapon. We're going to my stack. It is the Injured Bark Speeder. He's just going to choose to compulse to the end of his activation. So we're going to aim. We're going to shoot this boy over here. And then if he is uh, if he's dead, which actually I don't think. I think I have to move past him anyway. So we can do that on camera. Yeah, I do have to move past him. So we'll go somewhere like so. So we'll hopefully kill him. But if, if we don't, we're going to land right there. Right in front of the whole army and one bark speeder. He's a brave clone trooper or a foolish one, depending how you look at it. One of the two. Okay, I have a name token. I have black, black, white, red. Surging to hit onto a no cover little, what is it called? Probe droid. Probe droid. So two so far, because I do surge to hit. We'll spend the aim. My red's blanking out twice on me. Oh, let's hit this time. So three getting through, possibly. Oh, yeah, no problem. We do dodge two. I do dodge too, but no, unfortunately no. that's not going to be it. Going to the stack here, it's going to be our tank. What we're going to do is we are going to shoot uh, barrage style, and we're going to shoot the shinies over there. They do have a dodge token, um, but uh, it's high velocity, so they can't spend it. We'll go to the box and see what happens. Okay. All right, so it's going to be four reds. Uh, they do not have any cover. We do have critical one on this shot. And we're going to go over there. They have one left. All right, I appreciate that. And then uh, yeah, we'll, just, we'll try to wipe them out. We have light cover now. So three we cover elite one. They die. All right. We got our other operator, which is Padme. She's just going to pre measure it. We're going to move up to here. We're just going to take a shot with our. Um, just that's what we're going to shoot. So we'll use our E5 gun that we picked up and take a shot in those B1, see if we can do anything. All right. Stupid sharpshooter. Red, white dice surging the hits, I think. I don't think anyone would probably really search the crit unless you're, yeah, search the hit. So, two get through, you're gonna dodge one away. Dodge one, and one, one dead pierce one. pierce one. I go to the stack here, let's get our uh, last little bark guy here before he dies, or stat, not bark. Uh, he's gonna take an aim for his first action. He's gonna shoot into our heavy cover sniper team for the second, and then we'll just go ahead and get the compulse out of the way here. 
Um, we will just land on your order token, and that will be where he rests. Okay, so he shot first, now he's moving. Let's go yeah. see what that happens. All right, so it's three blacks into heavy cover, critical one with a name token. We better have dodge from our phase one buddies. All right, there's two. Uh, we'll reroll so this. So far, can't use. All right, so you're just okay. looking at two crits. Two. Okay, we need, we need some paint here. Preferably, oh, nope, they're dead. All right. Okay, the only quarter left are these guys. Um, I only have three white dice, but don't worry. If we blank on any, they panic pretty much. We can keep one. We need three. Oh, well. You're taking off two. If this one's if this one's paint, they don't panic off. No, they panic. Thank God. So that's that. That's that as well. All right, that's good, and that's good for me. All right, we'll go ahead and go with the silver team here. They're going to aim. They're going to shoot into the orange bark, and we'll go to the box. All right, six white dice with the name token into the light copper bark. Oh, look at crit. That's the one that I'm supposed to get. Hey, there's an extra bonus. I did have dodges and heavy cover on my arc, on my arch strike today. He killed, and now I have light cover, and he just doesn't. He just ignores it. Who blocked those? Oh yeah, blow both of them though. It's good. Good. In my stack, we've got the bark speeder. He'll compulse first, cause why not? Just gonna go right in front of that tank, cause it doesn't have good guns up front actually. Does not have great range one weapon. And then for its attack, I can shoot anything I want really here. So you do have a lot of options. Who hasn't gone yet in this giant scrum of everything? Everything over here. These are the only one, two, three. Let's go with the green because they're not going to have heavy cover from there. All right, to the greens we go. Two blacks, a white, and a red again. You know this song and dance by now. My reds <laughs> keep blinking. <laughs> Come on, reds, stop it. Okay, so making three saves. You can bounce out these extra high dice for us. Right, I'm going to go ahead and go with the blue B1s over here before he starts doing... I guess he can't shoot any of them anyway. We'll take an aim, we'll shoot into the bark speeder, and we'll go to the box. All right, six whites into the light cover bark speeder with an aim token. All right, if man, if I search, that'd be so good. Spend the aim. And you're looking at one. I feel like ring around the whole thing. That you, was pretty you cool. You did a ring around the rosy there. It was worth that. There. That no, you've like earned that. that block. I try. In my stack, we've got the last spark speeder, and unfortunately, this is objective basic game. <laughs> not unfortunately, but what I mean is we can't I'm not gonna shoot anything. We're gonna use our compulse to go this way with our bark speeder, not ATRT. And then we're gonna take our first action to come this way with the ATRT slash bark speeder thing. And then we're gonna come this way to get close to this cart. So I'm in range one and have more unit leaders in range one of the cart than him because I need to be able to move it eventually. Alright, sounds good. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and go with the green. It's only have three left. You're they'll rally really off good. that suppression, and uh, they'll take a shot into the arc speeder. It has light cover, again. All right, it did say aim and shoot, not just shoot. And then we'll spend the aim. All right, nothing that time. I like that shot. Okay, to so my stack I have, that's the dead cores that panicked off. The, no, that was the shinies he killed. And this is the <laughs> strike TV one-shotted. So what we have left is uh, Mr. Yoda. He has an aim for his, um, what is it, a Treyu, right? Yeah, Treyu, when he took a damage. So he's going to Falcor, uh, force Treyu. reflect the dodge. Why, Joe? Well, because he's vigilant, so we can keep that dodge into the next round. So we're still going to force reflex that, because that seems like a good thing to do. And then for my second action, or my first action is to swing away and slice. And then my second, oh, I guess I don't need a force reflex to get a dodge. Anyways, it's fine. We're going to swing away and slice, and then with his Treyu Master, if I, for my second action, I can do it again and swing away and slice. So we're just going to slice and dice. Maybe chop them all in half, maybe? You could very well Give do him that. some robot legs? Hopefully. Four red a dice here. We have surge two crits. We have an aim. And we can do this attack twice. So first one, going at. It's gonna be four hits. Pierce won't matter because he's immune pierce. That's two wounds. Two wounds. We gain a dodge for that. Not that we need it, but we do gain one. Let's do it again. That's gonna be four more. And that's two more wounds. Maul's down to one health. Ooh, one health versus three health. Three health healer? Yeah, three health healer. All right, yeah. going to the purple guys here. They're going to take a name. They're going to shoot into the same old bark here and see if we can't actually do another damage. That same old bark. All right, six white dice. Search to nothing into this light cover bark here. There's one. Hey, look, a hit. All right, we'll spend the aim. It's a good start. And there's another hit. Ooh, so one we'll gets through the cover. Okay, you got one through here. No, you don't. This bark speeder is hearty. He eat his Wheaties for breakfast, Don. Last unit over here is going to be my HQ uplinks. They're going to recover. And then only these four are going to shoot into the bark speeder. So it will get heavy cover and we'll see if we can throw a crit at it. All right, four white dice into heavy cover bark. 
Just a, nope, nothing. I don't get suppression. No, it's, it's a speeder. Tammy got her secret mission last round and helped support by killing a beat one. She's covering those droids to get their secret mission. His droid destroyers uh, put enough suppression in the panic a unit off. The other unit got blown up by a tank, so my, my phase ones are gone. And the strike team just blanked on two hits from a from a crit happy little stat trooper who's still alive there. Yoda and Maul are an epic duel here. Yoda has two wounds but suffered no wounds this round. Maul went four wounds from Yoda's double attack. So that's 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 looking pretty spicy there. Uh, the Bark Speeder of Gold is still alive with no wounds from a whole B1 army. That's pretty a impressive. A whole B1 army shot and did no damage. So we're going to move the cart, but um, Don can't go quite that far. So let's, let's see how the carts move, and we'll go to round number three. He went with Duel of Fates, and we started round three. Maul gains one dodge token and disengage. When Maul is engaged with an enemy unit, that unit cannot spend dodges, standbys, or search tokens. You get to an aim, technically. Interesting. Oh, no, end aim. I just missed the word. Yep. Size matters not. I played. Yoda gains jump, charge one, disengage, and treats the maximum speed at three. Yoda can perform any of his action that he can tap up to two times. And if there's no try not in your pool, bring it back. I did, but this is the word fortune part. He was rolling this, and it was like rolling like this. It was a blink, and then it hit this right before it landed and then popped into the block. So he won it, so he'll get to go first. It's unfortunate for me with Yoda with no dodges. is squishy. There's the fight. Order, order. Lots of orders there. And we'll go back to uh, see how he does that in a second. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and go with Maul. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and take a dodge for his first action, an aim for his second action, and for his third action, we'll go ahead and swing into Yoda. We'll go to the boss, see what that looks like. All right, so it's four reds, four whites, with an aim token, no Jedi Hunter this time. I have this, but I can't spend it because of his card. Yep. All right, so Ooh, that's no a Jedi lot Hunter. of blanks. That's, that's a lot of blanks. We're going to re-roll with an aim here. All right, that was a hit. So we'll four, get four. Four, I only have three health left. Yeah, you're going to be fine. How Take one more wound, up to two wounds left, and I'm alive. This is the big deal. Go to my stack. We've got this Bark Spear. It's going to move on up like so. Can we make that? Yep, we can. Uh, that's its compulse action. Its actual first action will be aim, and its second action will be to shoot the guy. All righty, we'll go to the bottom. Here we got it. A rainbow and another black from the driver again, surging to hit with an aim. He's got light cover because he's a speeder. So we got three so far. Let's put in the aim. And the one hit that's not a crit goes away, but the three crits stay. All right, need a block here to live. That's not a block, that's a dud. Right, we'll go with the silver B1s over here. They will take an aim, they'll shoot into the orange speeder, and maybe we can put a damage on it this round. Maybe. Six white, light cover with an aim token. Let's see if we can do it again. It's one. All right, so you're looking at two. Two's pretty good. Not against you. Uh, they don't, they don't oh, search they don't defense, search? so I'll oh, take wow, one. Oh, wow, that's a second wound. They search for offense, not defense. Oh, good. We are going with Miss Padme Amidala. She is going to have herself a quick little think. Get an aim and a dodge, and then she's going to take a shot on those two little B1s standing out there in the open. What the heck? It's a Padamame. Red and white, surging the hit. A sharpshooter two means no cover. With an aim. There's one crit. We're rolling with the aim. So one crit, we'll get three pierce one. So down to unit leader. Down to the unit leader. All right, we'll go with the blue guys over here. And we will take an aim and we'll shoot into the orange one. Sounds good. All right, same old song and dance. Oh, geez. Ooh, that's a good one. Sure, best roll out yet with yeah, that. All right. So two, two good crits. Through. One more. We broke. We break. We broke. Break. It's the uh, two-action one. On my stack it is another operative. It is Mr. R2 of the D2s. So he's going to start just, you know, just coming on up. Get that sweet secret mission. Next round, he should be in a slot to secure his perfect secret mission. There we go. All righty. All right, we'll go to the purple guys back here. They will aim and shoot, and we'll go to the box. Okay, it's got two health left. It's hurting. All right, aim, six dice. Let's do it. Oh, oh Jesus. my goodness. They're getting better and scarier. <laughs> what just happened? The amount of crits you can roll in the game, though, is very impressive. All, All right, right, so just, so you're just looking at three. Okay, great. If two get through, he dies. Thank yep, God. Yep, two get through. He finally goes down. Core, the only core I have left is my 501st here. They're going to just move up to, like, just back behind this, like so. Okay. Kind of using this to... Keep my cover as good as I can. Uh, the guys you want to shoot currently, you can only see one. So just if you're trying to shoot the blue guys, 
I don't know who we're trying to shoot, to be honest. I guess we okay. could shoot the tank for fun and do absolutely nothing with it. But, you know, maybe that's maybe that's the, the thing we do here. Okay. Um, no, I don't think it is, actually. I think we're just going to... We're going to come totally here for our first action. Okay. Our second action, we take a dodge. We're just going to chill this round. We're that's not going to get too... too good, good plan. Good plan. All right, so I'm going to go with the green guys. They only have three guys left. So we need to make sure that they don't get shot immediately. So we'll move up. And then we're just going to move up a little bit more. So at least if he wants to shoot him, I'll have to put in some effort. And that'll be them. I don't feel like it's like a really good effort to do, so we're probably just gonna leave them alone. <laughs> That's a Mark Spears, it's gonna be this guy here. Um, we'll aim and shoot the blue. Okay. And after we're done aiming and shooting said blue, we're just going to um, move up the board like we have to, which we do land on them with Compulse, yeah, which means they get a suppression. So they'll have two suppressions from this attack. Okay. Fix that just a little bit like that. So first aim and shoot, and then we move up and we yeah. two blacks, a red and a white again. Aiming, surging to hit. There's three so far. Can we convert the whites to question with the aim? Nope. Three hits on your B1s. Two. You look at B1 blocked. Alright, we'll go ahead and go with the blue unit. They'll recover their HE go up link as they have been doing the whole game, and they'll just shoot into the bark. Uh, only one guy can't see it now, so we'll get six dice. And it's the unit leader? The unit leader, yes. Heavy cover. All right, just a walking unit of a Z6 here, coming in hot. Still Holy three crits. Cow. What is going on with your crits? I don't know. It's a little ridiculous. Six crits and two white rolls. Okay. Can I respond? Almost. Only one wound, so I'm not complaining, but... That's not bad. These crits have been stupid hot. Stupid good. Look at my stack. Oh, it's it's the dead barks. Right so we got Yoda left. Now, you know, I have actions here, and I could tap, like, force reflexes and force push out stuff, but, you know, he doesn't can't use tokens because he played... Duel of the Fates. So we're just going to swing twice and hope to chop in half. He's got one health. Sounds good. I'm just looking for one blank from Don, and he's dead here. So first attack, four red dice. Piercing, all that doesn't matter. I do surge to crit. Can't spend any of my aims or anything, so let's see what we get. We get four hits. Oh, how about that? spending four two dodges. I'm debating spending one. It's a hard call, because if you... If the you, second round, I'm going to... I mean, it's going to be four again. And if I don't have surge to block... No, I get you. It's a hard call, because if you blank on either attack, you're dead. Right. I think I'm gonna just spend one. I'm gonna live dangerously. Okay. Probably a mistake. We'll see if. if... Arguments both ways. He's dead. <sighs> I, have, I, have, I have one more action. Oh, Let's go back to the table. So back to table. I didn't expect to be back to the table. You had to kill him in one swing. So we do have jump and we do have speed three this round because of his pip card. So we're gonna jump over this thing and land basing these B1s here. I'm going to um, swing away, but I wanna check a couple things here. We've got some force push ranges here. So yeah, what we're gonna do is we're gonna force push the blue guys out of range of this thing. So we're gonna, if you can push him speed one back all the way back for me after we do it off camera. But for his charging attack, he will strike these guys too. Okay. Okay, we got four red dice coming at these droids. Now we do have Pierce too. So we need token. Oh, we, need, we do need the aim oh, token too. Sorry. So four Pierce two on these B1s. We have three left. That's, that's the B1 roll right there. I made a mistake. And killed B1s. For some reason, in my brain, I was like, this tank went this round. No, it didn't. Okay, go to your stack. What do you got? Uh, it's going to be the droidicas over here. Oh, what is he doing over here? Well, they're AI move and dodge. Uh, and I think what I have to do, actually, is move with them. Because now you are contesting my point. And the only way I win this game is to tie you on points. So, so you're we'll wall it up. And we will go. You have to come here. out a little bit more because you're not going to fit with the wing. There, and we will just nudge ourselves as far as we can over this way, and then we'll do that one more time. Man, I felt so good after my uh, Yoda roll, and then I realized that I was not the last unit on the board to go. I was the last unit in my army. <laughs> <laughs> Mistakes are made. All right, so those are the droids, droidicas. Okay. All right, so we'll go to the stack here. It's going to be the tank. So what the tank is going to do is it's going to shoot its uh, main gun and the high energy shells into Yoda. And then after that shot, it is just going to nudge itself up here um, to get into range one of our objective piece here. We'll go to the dice box and take a look at that. Yoda's in a little bit of trouble. Can't spin dodges against the, the, the tank. All right, so the main gun with the high energy shells, we're looking at six reds and a white. A we lot have of critical dice. three on this. So critical three will kick in there. We lose our white. Yoda has no cover. You're looking at a six pack there, Yoda. Yep, it's a dead Yoda because Joke 
decided to kill B1 instead of look at the board state. So I can't spend any dodges, or I have three, which would be much better shape here. Um, but the tank is crazy good. So we're looking at six, uh, I have two health left, I think? Two health, I believe. Okay. So if there's two blanks in here, he dies. Otherwise, I surge natively. He's dead. There's three dead. blanks. I like it. All right, going to my stack here. It's going to be the dead stamps. Lash is going to be our lone B1 over here. Holding on to his suppression. AI attack's going to kick in. He's going to shoot into the heavy cover dodge version of Padme. Go get a white dice. And then... Uh, Let's see what it looks like. We're going to charge at her with our second. Okay. So that's our second action there. And we'll grab a dice. You just roll it right here. Come on, crit. Nope, nothing. Okay. End of round three. Uh, I'll keep C3PR moments if you get in their secret mission. Padme has hers. Uh, Yoda had a great play and killed them all, and then Yoda got overzealous and decided to kill B1s. Once again, guys, honest to God, thought the, the tank moved. I wouldn't have normally killed my buffer. Joe went ahead and pulled the Don. So it happens. It, it is what it is. Um, I don't think there's any way for me to win the game now with, with two Bark Spears in the phase one against a tank, Joydicas, and all the B1s. But I'll try for maybe one more round and see what happens. If I can tie or even get a point from the carts, I think I might have a chance because of the secret missions. We'll see. I don't know. Round four, we're here with a mechanized incursion. One pip after a friendly vehicle unit is issued an order. Choose a friendly joint trooper unit range 22 and issue them an order. I want our fate is in your hands. A one pip from Padme. Padme gains danger sense to it. The Sarlacc face phase. Padme and may transfer any number of suppressed tokens from her unit to another unit. Um, and for each transfer token, she gains dodges. I just played it because it's a one pip at this point. I knew it is dead. So Padme has the order token. Um, we have left on the board is a bark, a bark, and some phase ones trying to hold it down, trying to move this cart. Along the backside, we're, I think it's safe to say we're grabbing both those secret missions. So I already have two points. I just need to get one to two more points to have a chance here. I don't think I can, but we're going to try. We're going to try. I won the roll off. Go into my stack. It's a bark spear. I'm going to take a quick second to think about what I want to do with that. We'll come back. Okay, go to my stack. It's a bark. Don said replace this bark unit with a real bark unit. I said that he's earned his stripes. This bark unit has to stay on the field. And, and Joe played bad with killing Yoda, so he's got to really, like, not throw any bad juju in the world. So he's going to do his compulse action. Up to about here. Double check, even though we pre-measure that he's in range one of the tank. He is, so that way the tank can't shoot me with all of its good weapons, unless it moves. Check to see what my options are here. We're going to take an aim and shoot those uh, blue B1s back there. Okay. And see what happens. Two blacks, red and white, with name. Searching the hit on his B1s. We've got three so far. Can the white convert this time? No, white has not converted yet. I mean, you've been hitting with three almost every time. I block none every time. I'm going to go to my stack here. We'll get the tank. We're going to go ahead and back up just a little bit. Um, and then we are going to shoot our primary gun and our armor-piercing shells into the... Uh, Light-covered bark speeder. Light-covered bark speeder. We'll go to the box. All right, so we're at five reds and two blacks. We have our critical two into the light-covered bark in front of us. Well, that's a terrible roll. Two good really good two. I'll take that. Three blank reds. Ooh, and we block both. And you block both. I'm on this side of the board now. Get out of my side. We've got the bark speeder. This one here. He's going to aim and shoot this lone guy left just to wipe on activation. And then we're going to come up here like so. We're going to land and we're going to displace pretty much this whole unit. Except for the unit we don't land on. We come right about there. So I'll let Don Rico hear them. But we'll go to the icebox see if I can kill that last little guy. And let's do it. Okay. Um... One black, two blacks, one red, one white. You think I would know after this many shots? No. But surge to hit and aim against one B one. Oh, I got the four finally. <laughs> Overkilling that guy. <laughs> maybe not. Maybe you bust out the four uh, blocks. Here. Is this a chance? No, you bust out one though. One whole block. We'll go over here to the silver guys. They got suppression on them. They're gonna hold on to it, but they're droids. They don't care about it. Yeah, we're just gonna start marching them this way. Who unleashed the B1 horde? No one knows. Just go over here. And that will be them. Hey, Don, I just wanted to say, it's a nice shirt you got there, buddy. I don't know. It's all right. I wonder what kind of shirt you're wearing. Oh, well, I'm sure maybe we'll show them next. Nah. No, it's that. Oh, look, it's R2D2 and C3PO. Hey, guys, look. They made it. So they'll move here. They'll use their free um, action to get their secret mission. And then for their second actual action, they're just going to move back here like so. And they're just going to chill back there. All right, we're going to go with the Droidicas here. We'll just go ahead and move. 
do 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 Oh boy, that's not good for my bark spears. We need more B1 Shanilam, not not mm. destroy the pits. Ooh, three get through, I break. One I like shot, that. see? I like there you go, that. you see it's something to shoot it. It's the movement one. Oh darn, your worst one. Oh, Miss Padme. She's gonna have a quick thinking. Um, he did move close to me, which is fun because I get to use my actual like pistol now instead of my rifle. So we'll go ahead and shoot the Jordan, see if we can kill it with Pierce One. We should be able to, and that'll be her. Three black dice, Pierce One, Sharpshooter Two, all the things, surge to hit. So the aim for fun. It's not the three blanks I needed you to have. So two pierce one. Yeah, let's roll two hits or two blocks on this one. It would be funny if this was the time you rolled. Yeah, I know, right? We'll go ahead and go with the purple team here. They're just gonna start moving up. Don't they have to rally for me giving them a suppression by running them all over? Oh, you're you're right. Let's see if they rally off the suppression. I forgot. It's to gonna make out. a big deal. You got they it did. Off. All right, uh, so they'll just move up here. And they'll take their shot into the speeder. It's damaged. It's injured. It's and not looking we'll good. All right, so this is just six naked white dice. One crit. Only one instead of three this time. I don't know what's happening. I block Still it. block it. For my sack, we've got the brave 501st people here. They're going to go ahead and take a move just to kind of get out of the way of the bomb cart and kind of hide behind some remnant of a cover that exists <laughs> over here. Okay. We go here. I'm like so. Take a dodge for their second action and call of the day. Sounds good. This is Joe's shirt, by the way. It's a good shirt. Very similar. To the shirt that I'm wearing. It's almost identical. It is pretty much identical. It kind of is. If you want one of these sweet shirts, become a Patreon. That's how you get it. It's true. All right, so we do did take a look at this. I can move this B1 unit out here. They don't have their um, HQ uplink tapped, so they're just going to move up, and they're going to shoot into that guy right there. Okay. All right, this is a seven health unit, so we get seven white guys this time. And you're one looking crit. at just one crit. It lives the next round. Ooh, it doesn't even take Definitely damage. Lives. It's B1s, cannot shoot these things. End of round four, R2D2 and C3. We've got their secret mission. Padme's hanging on her secret mission, no problem. Killed some B1s that were there. He's moving his forces up to move his cart. Um, I'm going to move my cart in a second here. I've got that bark there with two health left. A full unit of phase one's hiding back there. A bark sweeping around the back with only a damage. It's a close game. Let's keep it going. And five, he went with Roger Roger, which says when a unit is issued an order, it gains either a dodge or a surge token. Aggressive negotiations I went with. When Padme Nellis issued an order to a troop unit, it may gain either one, do a one speed, or gain an aim, dodge, or surge token. The only people anywhere near Padme's range is these R2 unit took a dodge. Padme took another dodge with Vigilance. She kept her other dodge because that's bad what Padme does. And they're fine over here because there's no troop units from the enemy till way over here. Which he gave his and chained them. Did you even have to chain them? No, it was just three orders to droid troopers, and those are the three droid troopers that I have left. That yeah, makes sense. Okay, I think you had more than three. You only have three? Only three. Okay, cool. Well, I have two pips. I guess I'm going first. We're on my stack. We've got a bark spear. Let's go way on the other side of the board here. Okay. We're going to take this guy over here who's pretty pretty looking pretty good on health-wise. We're going to take him and swing him around like so. And bump his taint just slightly. Sorry about that. It's fine. We'll just fix it like it never happened. Do another action. Like so, and then move action here to about here, like so, and then um, can speeders dodge? Maybe yeah, I think that. so. They just can't stand by, right? Is that the whole thing? Yeah. Okay, then he's gonna take a dodge. Okay. I'm sure you see. All right, let's go ahead and go to my stack. It's gonna be our support. We'll go with Droidicas. Uh, they have AI move and shoot, so we'll shoot first and then. Move afterwards, and that will be them. All right, so it's going to be four blacks, two reds, into our ATRT friend. That's a much worse shot than last time, but you're just looking at two. Two so is enough to kill if I blank it's here. It's not enough to kill it. With the no, I have light cover. I rolled one. I removed one. Oh, did you? Okay. Two surges. Two surges. Okay, look at that. I don't know what you moved. It's called an ATRT. It's a, it's a bark spear. It is a bark spear. It just looks like an ATRT. Oh, it dies. Finally. I told you it was going to die. The Georgia guys are the ones who had to kill it. Yeah. RTC, C3PO. They're going to move to here and calculate some odds on themselves just to see what I their odds are. I there was a secret mission in there. They got it. But Padme already got it, so well, I don't think you can get it. There was two computers. She couldn't hack the other one. They needed an R2 droid to get into it. So. I, I don't think that's how this game works. I think you only get one. All right, so we're going to try backing up and see if this fits here with the tank. 
So we will back up to about, oh yeah, no problem. About there. You're not fully on there, but that's what I meant. You, you couldn't actually make the full move. What do you mean? No, you're good, you're fine. Like this? You can do a partial back up, like you're doing, yeah. Yeah, I'm not going all the way back. I just need to get out of range one, and then we'll shoot into the bark. Coolio. All right, so we'll throw the high energies in here. So it's gonna be seven, I'm sorry, six reds, one white into our bark speeder with critical three. Or you could roll nothing and get two more hits. It's like two. I think it's, I think it's breaks. It does break, it is at three. Two okay, actions. Two Dead bark, that's my course. So we have one play here to win this game and we have to kind of clog up an, an avenue for those B1s to come and try to control this thing. So what we're gonna do is, if we looked at this right, he can come to about here. And I'm gonna double measure this off screen just to make sure I'm not screwing anything up here. And make sure we have just enough gaps and nothing to fit between us at all anywhere and cohering completely forward. I'm gonna double check all that, but I think that's where they're ending up for the double move. All right, so we will go with these blue B1s and see if Joe actually measured out how he thought he measured. So we'll start with this guy. And we will move him right here. And then let's see what we can do here. Yeah, he measured probably pretty good. I doubt we can fit a model right here. What do you think? Did that move anybody? It moved the guy back slightly. All right, well then. We'll just leave them right there and we will shoot into these phase one boils. Phase ones. Okay. All right, seven white dice into no cover B1 or phase ones. This is not going to kill anything. Nope, not going to kill anything. All right, let's go over here to these B1s. They're going to do a whole lot of nothing here. So we'll move one. Well, Padme, a uh, quick thing. Or, yeah, and she just chilled. Oh, these guys get to over here and contest this. Oh, then you look, you win. I did win. I He's sitting here all mad and forgot about his own yeah. unit. I can only block one with not enough units. Okay, good job. All right, so this is my last activation over here, the purple guys. They're gonna come over here and they'll shoot the bark speeder so we have some shooting. And uh, we'll go to the box. All right, so six whites into the bark speeder. Light cover takes Light it away. Light cover takes it away. And four. And end of the game, we're calling it here now, or in the round five, excuse me, and end around the game. Uh, I have two points from Secret Mission. He has currently has two points, but he'll get his third point next round for touching it. Um, I don't have enough units on the side of the board to control this, so it's it's one to one at the moment. And that was with me like creatively blocking a tank from strafing with this, mm -hmm. so I stopped that. Then I moved these up and gummed it up so he couldn't move a B1 in, so he couldn't control it here. Oh, but then he was so bad. And then he was like, oh, wait, I can move this twice. And then he, you, yeah. saw, you saw the anger and saw it lift from his face. He's like, oh, wait, I win. <laughs> so, pretty I mean, funny. Like, I should have won this game pretty handedly, if, like, from the way the list was going and everything. And it just it just didn't turn out that way. Unfortunately, I, I, I still think I could have won if I didn't fuck up Yoda. If you didn't, yeah, you would have 100% won with no problems. Yep, I just because I, I could have kept Yoda in the meat shield for one round, so his tank couldn't shoot Yoda. Then, then Yoda goes behind and just starts killing B1s like there's no tomorrow. Yep. But... I messed up, so it is, but I got it close. Um, just unfortunately, he had one too many B1s left, um, and I couldn't move up. I, I don't like bark speeders. Even I know they were survivable, and they did some fun things. That was just me being creative, but there's no firepower in this list um, mm -hmm. was my issue. I have, they throw four dice, so they, they throw essentially the same exact amount of dice as a core of phase one's throw. It's arguably a slightly better pool. You trade a trade two blacks for a red and a white, so you're about the same. It's about the same, hits. actually. Yeah, it's about it the same. It does surge, so it does. It go does up surge, a which bit. is nice, and it has light cover. So but yeah, without the sidecar, they're can't not that great. Token share, and and Yoda can't. I don't know. Um, and then there was only one unit of phase ones. These guys actually, the ones who lived, they had a heavy. Everything else didn't have heavies. Yeah. So at, pretty much all your offensive powers in Yoda. And it didn't help that, like, he rolled six crits and killed these guys and rolled, like, six crits over there and killed another guy. So that, that didn't help me either with my low activation. Um, but it was a close game. Came Pretty down close. from, uh, I got both secret missions, so two to three we'll call because next round, like I said, I can't stop it. If Bass, I kill a unit, he kills a unit, he moves, finishes moving his horde up, and he comes this up so I can't move it. So it couldn't quite get there. Um, it is within two right now. So technically, I guess I would have, it would be three to th three at the end. But points remaining wise, I'm pretty sure your tank alone wins it for you. 
Probably pretty close. The yeah. tank, the droidicas. I have no clue because Padme is not expensive. R two D two, three C three are expensive. I'm probably gonna be at least we'll say one bark dead, just to be safe. One bark. So I have one unit phase ones against droidicas in a tank and three B one. So close on points. Yeah. We'll figure it out for fun and let you guys know what it is in a second here, and then we'll come back and talk about it. Okay, so we did the math real quick just for fun to see. So if he if we play the last round, he touched this. And this doesn't move anymore. It's at range two right now. And we, we both agreed to say the Bark would be dead from the tank. These guys would probably be alive because he can't get to him with his Joy Destroyers who have his other dice pool. Just, just playing it safe. Mm -hmm. So I'd have a whopping with Padme and C-3PO way over there. 248 left on the field. You'd have... 401. 401. The tank alone is almost as much as my army left. So it actually does tie on points. Ties on and points. We go to, we go to, and we go to points destroyed. Which so goes I, to him. I did pull it out there. So it was even closer than I thought initially. Yeah. I just the, the double the double uh, secret missions really. It was carry. that, and two things killed me. One besides the bad Yoda play was your tank was sitting here, so I had to take my bomb cart farther. Otherwise, I think if I could have went the same route you did, we both would have been. At, I would have had it would have been four to three then. Possibly. Yeah, because the same distance you were here this round, mm. which gave you two points. I could have got there too, but. Couldn't. His tank was sitting here blocking the whole lane, so I had to go the long way around. Yeah, um, yeah good game. Um, List-wise, thank you guys yeah. for the list. Um, it's always interesting playing lists because there's cards that you think are staple on cards that when other people build lists, they don't staple on. So it is it's it's weird to play, play other people's lists and see, especially without knowing what their intent was. Like, obviously, your list probably was intended to get both of those secret missions and just have enough stuff alive to keep the secret mission points. Yeah, payload wasn't a good one for me. I knew that, but I knew that with what was it? Mar Intercept, I think, was the other. No, was the next sabotage one. was the one you sabotage. Flipped. I stopped, and that was payload. And then and deployment. Then so the deployment was the big one because it was major offensive, and you could group everything so easily. R two D three and Padme wouldn't be able to just walk into the lines. Yeah, they would not have been able to do. So that. So I had to force battle lines, which which did its thing. I got to be able to get my missions over there. Yeah, but that left me with payload, which is probably the least ideal. If it was sabotage, I think I'd been fine because I would have had my two naked. Things tap that up, and you would have to play Hunt Secret Mission down. Yeah. But unfortunately, this is the one we dealt with. It was close. It was very close. If, if this, if this AT, if this, if this uh, bar could have survived that last shot, a full up here, I could have controlled it one more time. So good close. Up. It was a good game. It was a close yeah. game. Thank you guys for your list. Um, hope you enjoyed the match. If you want to see your list played, Go ahead and check out the Patreon. It's our commander tier gets to submit those lists. We do have a skirmish game that should be dropping either right before this or shortly after this, aka as soon as Joe, me, edits it and Joey. edits this video. Um, I will be able to drop that for you guys. But that one's another Patreon list. Uh, both of them both on the skirmish were yeah. Patreon lists. So we'll get that out to you guys too. If it's not, if it's already out, I hope you enjoyed it. If not, I hope you do enjoy it in the future. With that mentioned, comment below for the giveaway from Jace for Design Studios. Check them out. Gift of Games. Thank you very much. And have a great day, guys. Bye.